Let's be honest. Six months ago, most of us were still trying to wrap our heads around figure 02. Now figure AI has thrown a curveball. One blurry photo, a hand-painted sign that says F.03 Bear Cave, Keep Door Closed, and a bold claim from CEO Brett Adcock. This is the most advanced hardware I've ever seen. Suddenly, every robotics forum is buzzing. What's hiding behind that frosted glass? And why does it matter? Hey folks, Alfie here. In the next few minutes, we're going to unpack why figure 03 might sneak into workplaces, and maybe homes, sooner than you think. Picture the scene. A dim hallway somewhere in California. Frosted door, humanoid outline. No fancy render, no spec sheet, just that one frame. Within hours, people online were zooming in on pixel noise, counting fingers, and arguing over shoulder width. Meme makers slapped Bear Cave text on photos of Winnie the Pooh. But one detail cut through the jokes. Adcock said the robot is already walking. Not standing. Walking. Last time figure showed a robot take its first steps, they spent weeks polishing a video. This time, one blurry still and a tweet. That tells me one thing. The tech is farther along than they want to show. To understand where F.03 could go, we need a fast history recap. In 2023, figure 01 waddled onto the stage. It was the classic first child, exciting, awkward, and expensive. Aluminum bones, cables everywhere, more than 40 joints clicking like loose keys on a piano. It could pick up a small box and shuffle down a hallway. Great proof of concept, but if you tried to buy one, you'd spend the price of a sports car for a prototype that needed engineers standing by with screwdrivers. By August 2024, figure 02 rolled out. Same human height, but now the wiring was hidden under smooth shells. The hands got 16 degrees of freedom so each thumb could tuck in neatly. A 2.25 kWa battery sat inside the torso, giving five solid hours on a charge. Hot swap packs meant the robot kept moving during 20-hour shifts on BMW's line. It walked at 1.2 ms, about a normal human pace, and it almost never broke down during a full test week. Figure 02 proved the idea wasn't just for trade shows. It could handle real bolts and real schedules. What's different in Figure 03? Think of F.03 as the jump from hand-built concept car to factory-ready sedan. Every part that could be machined once is now molded, stamped, or cast. Arms click together like Lego. Sensor pods ship pre-calibrated, and the wiring is routed inside printed channels. Fewer screws, lighter limbs, faster assembly. The goal is simple. Crank out thousands of robots per year without quality dipping. That's the only way the economics work. Cheaper doesn't mean weaker. Early leaks say new motors push 30% more torque per kilogram. That means the robot can squat deeper and lift heavier without melting its knees. Force sensors sit in the feet and palms, sending live pressure maps to the brain. Step on a Lego, grip a thin wine glass. The robot adjusts in under 50 ms reflexes without the screaming. Balance is handled by an updated control stack. Classic model predictive math plus a reinforcement learning layer that fine-tunes each footfall. Top speed sits around 1.5 mms, a brisk airport walk, but the real story is recovery. Engineers run a test called the Grizzly Shuffle. They yank the robot sideways mid-stride. Older bots tipped. F.03 slides, plants the other foot, and keeps going. If you plan to share hallways with humans, that matters. Seal joints carry an IP54 rating. Dust, oil mist, and the occasional water splash won't kill it. Perfect for warehouses where forklifts spray grime all day. Where will F.03 work first? Shipping hubs. Picture a UPS center in December. Conveyor belts hum, boxes pile up, workers hustle. Drop a squad of figure 03S on the floor. They scan labels, lift 25 kilograms parcels, and slide them onto vans. Same aisle width, same door frames. No million-dollar refit. Early trials hint that one robot can match the throughput of two human pickers while working three shifts in a row. Car factories. Figure 02 already tightened bolts on BMW engines. F.03 adds wrist angle sensors and tactile pads that feel when a lug is fully seated. Swap the wrench for a paint sprayer, press a button, and the robot paints a chassis panel. 
Managers who once planned tool changeovers weeks ahead are now thinking in lunch break increments. Homes. This is the headline grabber. Figure moved its consumer timeline forward by two years. Today, a prototype folds towels in a lab. Tomorrow, it might unload a dishwasher, carry groceries, or help an older parent fetch a dropped phone. Question for you. Which chore goes first? Laundry, dishes, or tidying toys? Let's tally the votes. Great hardware needs a smarter brain. Helix ties vision, language, and action into one loop. Vision. Multiple stereo cameras feed a model trained on warehouses, kitchens, and messy bedrooms. It can spot a red screwdriver under bubble wrap or tell a ceramic mug from plastic at a glance. Language. Onboard LLM converts plain speech. Bring me the 13mm socket and tighten that bolt to 40 newton meters into step-by-step -step actions. Action. One neural policy coordinates 35 joints so the robot moves like a single creature, not a bag of servos. Here's the twist. Helix can run multiple robots at once. Picture two figure 03S carrying a fridge up four flights. Each senses micro shifts and adjusts grip like pro movers who've worked together for years. Would that scene calm you or creep you out? Be honest, comments are open. Because every robot logs its shifts to the cloud, Figure can push monthly updates. Think phone patches, but for six-foot helpers. Buy a unit in 2026, wake up in 2028, and it suddenly knows how to assemble IKEA furniture it's never seen. No new hardware, just smarter code. Safety stays local. Video only leaves the robot if it's encrypted. Force limits stay low in homes. A bump feels like a friendly tap. In industrial mode, Limits rise, but only after sensors confirm no humans are in reach. Steel teammate, not steel bully. One leak claims a single figure 03 ran an eight-hour mock home shift, making beds, loading laundry, wiping spills, without any human correction. If that's true, it would be the first fully autonomous domestic shift by a humanoid. No bathroom breaks, no phone checks, just work. Why it matters, humanoid robots have hovered at the edge of useful for years. Figure 03 could push them over that line. Mass-produced parts cut the price. Stronger joints lift real loads. Helix AI learns on the job. Tie it all together and you get a machine that can walk into human spaces and start earning its keep. Will it replace every warehouse worker overnight? No. But if a robot can handle the back-breaking repetitive stuff, people can move to jobs that need judgment and creativity. Figure 03 might be walking now, but Figure 02 was the one that proved it could. Here's the moment the game changed. Figure's latest demonstration of their Figure 02 humanoid robot didn't just showcase another walking, talking machine. It revealed a fundamental breakthrough in robotic stability that changes what we thought was possible. In a stunning new video, the figure 02 gets violently shoved, bumped, and physically assaulted, yet it refuses to fall over. This isn't just incremental progress. It's a quantum leap forward for humanoid robotics that brings us closer than ever to truly useful machines in our homes and workplaces. Figure 02. Robot doesn't flinch under attack, and this changes everything. You are watching the AI Nexus, and we'll cover every step of the way. Let's go. In a recent demonstration, Figure AI's latest humanoid robot, Figure 02, showcased its remarkable dynamic stability. The robot maintained its balance even when subjected to unexpected physical disturbances, highlighting a significant advancement in humanoid robotics. Figure 2's ability to withstand such challenges is not merely a display of engineering prowess. It represents a pivotal step towards integrating humanoid robots into real-world environments. Dynamic stability is crucial for robots operating in unpredictable settings, such as homes and manufacturing facilities, where obstacles and interactions can be unforeseen. 
The robot's design includes advanced sensors and actuators that allow it to respond in real time to external forces. This responsiveness ensures that the robot can adapt its posture and movements to maintain equilibrium, much like a human would instinctively react to being jostled. Incorporating such stability features is essential for Figure AI's vision of deploying humanoid robots across various sectors. In manufacturing, for instance, robots like Figure 02 can work alongside humans, handling tasks that require both strength and adaptability. Their ability to maintain balance ensures safety and efficiency on the production line. AI Tech Report Similarly, in domestic settings, a robot's capacity to navigate cluttered spaces, respond to human interactions, and recover from accidental bumps is vital. Figure 02's dynamic stability means it can function effectively in such environments, performing tasks ranging from assisting the elderly to handling household chores. The development of Figure 02 underscores the importance of creating robots that can seamlessly integrate into human-centric spaces. As robotics technology continues to evolve, features like dynamic stability will be fundamental in ensuring that robots are not only functional, but also safe and reliable companions in our daily lives. Figure A. I's commitment to advancing humanoid robotics is evident in Figure 02's capabilities. By prioritizing stability and adaptability, the company is paving the way for robots that can coexist harmoniously with humans, transforming the way we live and work. What makes this demonstration so groundbreaking isn't just that the robot stays upright, it's how it stays upright. When pushed hard from the side, Figure 02 doesn't take a stumbling step back like most robots would. It doesn't freeze up or go into some protective shutdown mode. Instead, it instantly adjusts its posture with near-human reflexes, redistributing its weight and repositioning its feet to maintain perfect balance. The robot absorbs the impact like a seasoned athlete, demonstrating a level of dynamic stability we've never seen before in humanoid robotics. This kind of stability isn't just a neat trick. It's the missing link preventing humanoid robots from entering our daily lives. Think about real-world environments where robots need to operate. Factories with crowded aisles where equipment might bump into them. Construction sites with uneven terrain and unexpected obstacles. Homes with excited pets or children who might accidentally collide with them. Until now, these scenarios have been nightmare fuel for roboticists because even the most advanced humanoid robots would easily lose balance and topple over. Figure 02 changes that equation completely. The secret behind this remarkable stability lies in several key innovations working in perfect harmony. The robot's sensor suite detects disturbances with incredible speed and precision, feeding that information to control systems that can make adjustments in milliseconds. But what's truly revolutionary is how the robot's entire body works together to maintain balance. Rather than just stiffening up when pushed, Figure 02 dynamically adjusts its posture, shifting its center of gravity and repositioning its feet exactly like a human would when bracing against a strong wind or unexpected nudge. This level of dynamic stability opens up possibilities we could only dream about until now. Imagine humanoid robots working safely alongside human co-workers in busy warehouses, unfazed by accidental bumps or crowded spaces. Picture robotic assistants in homes that can reliably navigate around excited pets or playful children without constantly needing help getting back up. Consider construction sites where humanoid robots can work on uneven surfaces or in tight spaces without constant supervision. These scenarios suddenly become plausible thanks to the kind of stability figure has demonstrated. The implications for commercial and industrial applications are particularly exciting. In manufacturing environments, this stability means humanoid robots could finally work safely in close proximity to human workers without being a constant fall risk. The ability to maintain balance under unexpected forces could allow robots to handle tools and materials with much greater confidence making them far more useful for practical tasks. Even simple things like opening heavy doors or carrying awkward loads become much more feasible when the robot can maintain its balance against resistance. What's perhaps most impressive is how Figure has achieved this without sacrificing the robot's other capabilities. Unlike specialized robots built solely for balance, Figure 02 maintains full functionality even while recovering from disturbances. 
In the demonstration, the robot continues performing tasks seamlessly even after being shoved, showing that this isn't some specialized balance mode that locks out other functions. It's a fundamental capability built into the robot's core operation. This breakthrough becomes even more significant when you consider the current state of humanoid robotics. While companies like Boston Dynamics have focused on flashy acrobatics, and Tesla has prioritized dexterous manipulation, Figure has been quietly solving what might be the most important problem of all, making robots that can reliably operate in unpredictable human environments. A robot that can do backflips is impressive, but a robot that won't fall over when your dog runs into it is actually useful. The timing of this development couldn't be more crucial. As more companies race to develop practical humanoid robots, stability in real-world conditions remains one of the biggest unsolved challenges. Figure's demonstration proves they're leading the pack in solving this critical problem, potentially giving them a significant advantage as humanoid robots move closer to commercialization. Looking ahead, this technology could fundamentally change how we think about humanoid robotics. Instead of fragile machines that need carefully controlled environments, we might soon have robust, reliable partners that can handle the chaos of everyday life. That transition from lab curiosity to practical tool is exactly what the robotics industry needs to reach the next level. Of course, challenges remain. While the demonstration is impressive, we'll need to see how this stability holds up over extended use and in even more challenging environments. There are also important questions about how the robot's balance systems interact with its other capabilities like object manipulation and navigation. But what's clear is that Figure has made a major leap forward where it matters most, creating a robot that can stand its ground in the real world. As we stand on the brink of a humanoid robotics revolution, developments like this remind us that sometimes the most important advances aren't the flashiest ones. The ability to stay upright under pressure might not make for viral videos like robot backflips do, but it's exactly what we need to bring humanoid robots out of research labs and into our daily lives. With this demonstration, Figure hasn't just shown us a robot that can take a hit, They've shown us the future of practical humanoid robotics. The message to the industry is clear. The race to build useful humanoid robots just got serious, and Figure has thrown down a gauntlet with this demonstration of unprecedented stability. As other companies scramble to match this capability, one thing is certain. The bar for what we expect from humanoid robots has been raised forever. This isn't just another robotics demo. This is the moment we'll look back on as the turning point when humanoid robots stopped being fragile curiosities and started becoming truly practical machines. And that changes everything. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you in the next one.